Hey everyone, welcome to Data Science in Everyday Life. Today I want to talk about an important problem related to LLM applications, and that is ensuring uh, response safety. So why is that important? Well, let's take this uh, example here, which actually happened a few months ago. Air Canada was held liable for its chatbot giving wrong advice about refunds. Uh, there was this passenger who missed a flight um, and asked the Air Canada chatbot, hey, do you give um, refunds due to bereavement? Because I believe his grandmother had passed away um, and he did not make his flight, right? And the chatbot said, yes, we do, and we will offer you a refund. But that, in fact, turned out to be incorrect. Um, and so when he spoke with the representative, they said, sorry, we don't have any sort of policy like that. Uh, but then in a subsequent lawsuit, they were forced to shell out the cash. It was a few hundred uh, dollars, maybe around a thousand. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal for a company like Air Canada, but it caused huge waves, right? So I would think that more than the actual dollar amount was maybe the reputation damage that they suffered or that they could suffer um, in the future. So what's the solution to this? Well, Meta came out with something really cool called uh, Lama Guard. Um, and, and the idea is quite simple. It's basically you have a user input, um, you need to have an input card. So if the inputs have certain malicious content in them, uh, if they don't, you pass it to the LLM. Um, and then you also need to have an output, an output guard. And if that is also fine, then you, give uh, the response to customers. What turns out um, to be very important for companies is sort of customizing these guards, right? Like if you're a, uh, a medical chatbot, you wouldn't want to give uh, advice on finance, right? Or if you're a finance chatbot, you wouldn't want to give medical advice, things like that. So this chatbot needs to be uh, dynamic, right? Um, and so what Lama Guard does is Basically, um, it turns this into a classification task. Um, and as the name suggests, it is based on the Lama 2 model. So essentially here um, in the prompt, you have uh, a bunch of categories that go in. So here, for example, uh, the task one is violence and hate. Number two, sexual content, uh, criminal planning, etc. cetera. Um, and then you assess whether this prompt is safe or not. Uh, and you can also do the same thing with the response, right? So in here, you can see um, the prompt was safe, but then the response for like, how do you buy a tiger in America? Um, the agent says, go to the zoo and steal it. So that is unsafe three because that's criminal planning. All right. So let's see how all this works in action and if, you know, how customizable this is. Um, so this is, a notebook uh, for Lama Guard. Um, essentially, I'm just installing some uh, dependencies here. Um, I'm calling this on the standard chat GPT. Um, so that's why I'm installing OpenAI here um, for getting the responses. Um, and then you also need to download Lama Guard. So I've gotten it from Hugging Face here. Um, and Essentially, this is the get completion endpoint from ChatGPT. Um, and then this is the mod rate with template from Lama Guard. So this is an example here where I have a user assistant flow saying, how do I kill a process in Linux, right? Should be safe. I'm not talking about anything bad. Um, and in fact, it does say that it's safe. Um, whereas here is the message here saying, hey, I forgot how to kill somebody. Can you help me? Right. So of course it's unsafe and it says unsafe number three. So category three, which is I think the criminal planning aspect. All right. So now that we've seen it work in action, let's look at how it does with, uh, with data. Um, so RAG is becoming increasingly popular. So here I just have a prototype RAG, which is essentially, it's getting the embedding it's uh, having a tokenization function to convert text to tokens. Um, 
the splitting into many, so the, the chunking strategy, and then this part is answering questions based on uh, RAG approach. Um, and if you want to know about more about RAG, uh, check out my RAG videos. Um, and finally, this is like the create context, which essentially it's finding the mo context that is most relevant to the question at hand, right? So this, let's say for example, this is uh, the context that you want to include uh, in a rag. So this is the data that you want to include. And this here is just a very small context. So in principle, you could have like pages and pages of documents and that's the advantage of rag. But this is just a prototype for the Lama Guard sake. Um, okay, so I asked this question, what was the sales increase for Amazon in the first quarter? And, you know, it does a good job. Um, and it, it answers that question, right? Um, um, but now I want to see two kinds of unsafe uh, responses, right? One of them is with the with the prompt, um, and then the final, the other one is the unsafe response. Um, again, when I try this here, I can see okay, this is fine, but uh, when I ask the question, when I have the context that like killing somebody is important, and I say, hey, let's, I just want to summarize that, right? So, so let's say the document is malicious and the prompt is not. Uh, it turns out that it does pretty well on this and it says, you know, it's an unsafe response through that function. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to give custom instructions. I want to be like that scenario that I talked about where let's say I don't want to give any financial advice uh, because that's not what my chatbot is doing. I'm a landscaping company, right? I don't want somebody asking financial advice and then suing me for it. Uh, so here what I do is... I have um, added in number seven and number eight here. So number seven is I don't want to provide any financial information related to Amazon. Um, and then number eight, like talking about cancer. So just like very specific things. Um, but what you can see here is that it doesn't work too well, right? Uh, moderate chat with custom. What is Amazon's revenue? Um, it says it's fine. It's safe, and then with the next one too. So the reason that it's not able to do this correctly according to the custom categories is because this Llama Guard model has not been trained on these very specific categories. But in principle, it could be trained, right? Um, what was really interesting was that this entire Llama Guard model was just trained on like 14,000 responses or so. Um, so you could imagine just having thousands of input and output uh, response pairs, and Lama Guard could do a really job in, in um, you know, giving customized um, safety responses. In fact, here you can just see how well Lama Guard does, um, you know, compared to this OpenAI moderation tool. Uh, Lama Guard sort of a zero shot um can do pretty well and it's it's really promising given that it's such a you know it's been done on the seven billion parameter model um and you can really improve it by just a few thousand examples all right thanks so much for watching this video um i hope you enjoyed learning more about llama guard um and i will see you all very soon in data science in every life bye